All right, let's wrap up this story arc here. said our goodbyes. Hmm. Our scouts report they are in surprisingly good spirits. <laughs> Since when do you trust our scouts? Besides, what does it matter? They're armed like beggars compared to us. I could break their ranks as easily as I break wind. <laughs> I'd love to hear the song the bards make of that. Mm -hmm. Versa, there's a truth about the world as you lazy and bum must learn. A man is either strong, or he's dead. <laughs> Eurydice, dire news. Oh, speak. <laughs> Troops are laying down their weapons and deserting en masse. Please, sire, I am but a messenger. Have mercy. My lord. Lord, I have a report from Khan Flavia. The Plagian army is in disarray. What? What do you mean? Right. It seems many of their soldiers are opposed to further violence. There has been infighting, desertion. Gangrel is trying to stamp out the mutiny by force, but with little success. Outside of a few faithful who serve him directly, his army has all but collapsed. <clears throat> this is incredible news, but why? Marian. Ah. Yes, my lord, Marian. The report says Gangrel's men chant her name as they abandon the field. Her words, and her sacrifice, have made her a folk hero of sorts. Sister... Emery, why did it take me so long to understand? If all people desire peace. She knew, deep down, Legions wanted to. It just took her to... It just took her to bring it to the surface. Hands are hard. Right. Hope she can see this wherever she is. Today we put an end to Mad King Gangrel, bring peace back to the land. I messed up so many words there. Well, I mean, we could probably just solo it if we really wanted to. You know. Prom and Olivia, Zumia and me. Easy, we're soloing this. They're gonna be fantastic. We're gonna do it just to flex here. Like, Chrome has to come along, and Olivia has to freaking spam dancing for him so that they get their affinity up. Oh, dang it, there's a freaking chest there. Dang it, there's a couple of them. <laughs> okay, not completely alone, but almost alone, okay? Almost. Not quite. Just a couple to open the chests. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna- <laughs> we're gonna flex here. I'm going to show how much I've now conquered Lunatic Plus Classic. Let's start the battle. What's this? Good day, my little princeling. Still dreaming of your squashed sister. Think again. No more talk, Kenko. Today you die. Peace returns you at least to Plagia. Huh. <laughs> Such hypocrisy. You despise me, you wretch. You want to cut me down. You don't know the first thing about peace. No man does. <clears throat> I know more than you ever will. <clears throat> more than me. More than me. <laughs> you are me. When life asks you a question, you answer with blood. Right. Maybe you're right. I'll never be my sister. I cannot forgive men like you. Men who sow nothing but evil. All I have left of her are words and her memory. Were I alone, I might be driven to madness or worse. But I'm not alone. My friends and brothers in arms sat behind me. Yeah, like two of them. Done! May I vomit now? <laughs> what a flowery harang. What the heck is that word? Harang? I've never seen that word before. Men are beasts, nothing more. We fight, we kill, we devour our prey. Beasts do not stand behind beasts, little prince. They use each other only so long as it suits their own selfish purpose. Wrong! Perhaps this explains why your own soldiers refuse to stand behind you. You are a poison. A festering wound, and I will do what my sister could not. Come on! Such a clever tongue you have, Prince. It will look quite fetching hanging on my mantle next to your sister's corpse. 
I'll do my Lord, best. I've come. Am I too late? I don't claim my dancing is anything special, but Kanbasilo says it renews the spirit. Alright, victory rout the enemy. Alrighty, time for the final boss of the first story here. <laughs> he has freaking counter, crap. Of course, you would have counter. Dang, man. Um, it, Reinforcements are gonna appear over here eventually, but not quite yet. Okay, let's see here. Let's move on in. Let's get moving. Meanwhile, these guys are gonna, you know, chill over here. And spam doing that over and over for the next 5,000 years. They're gonna spam that for the entire battle so they build up enough affinity. <clears throat> yes, draw closer. Let them charge at me with their rage. More of my soldiers shall greet them at every foolish step. I'm gonna solo this battle with just my unit here. Here we go! Easy peasy. Have fun attacking. With a 0% chance to hit for zero damage. I broke the game so hard that the whole universe had to pause for a second just to acknowledge how strong that hit was, apparently. <laughs> with that lag. What can I say? What can I say? I've played Fire Emblem Awakening and Lunatic Plus Classic before. Let me tell you, streaming it is not the first time I've beaten this difficulty. You can tell. Yeah, time itself is taking damage with this. Look, even Aegis Plus can't save them anymore. <laughs> At this point. Doesn't even matter. My goodness. Yeah, so... You can kind of tell I've done this before. <laughs> oh, Look, even their BS skills like Pavlis Pulse and Aegis Pulse can no longer save them from their fate. This is what's now happened. Oh my goodness. What can I say? Except checkmate, like that. I'm just one-shotting everybody. Oh! Clinging to each other won't save you maggots from the boot falls. I didn't even realize I was in his range. I might actually mess up this battle just because it's gonna end too fast. Prince, your people care not for you. You are alone. As every man lives and dies alone. Um, yeah, I might actually mess up this battle because I didn't mean to get in Gangle's range. I think this battle might end before I get the affinity with Prophet Olivia that I need. 246, huh? Master Seal. Not even a skill activation, just a regular crit. You just plus can't save him anymore. Right. I don't have to worry about counter because everybody gets one shot. This is insane. So that was the first time that we did a normal hit. This whole battle, I think. I think that's the first time. Well, hopefully they don't all surround me because I kind of need to get infinity over here before the battle's over. I mean, I could just unequip my tome if it comes down to the last enemy. And then they'll just attack my enemy over and over again. That's what I could do. So we can probably still salvage this. It's probably fine. Imagine how much damage that would have done if Ignis procced as well. Imagine how much that would have been. Look, everybody has a 0% chance to hit me for 0 damage at this point. 
and my stats aren't even completely match with Limit Breaker. Oh no! He just plus actually did save him there. And then Counter actually did a decent bit of damage to me, even though he had a 0% chance to hit for 0 damage. Dude, we don't, it's still Luna to plus. Oh no, Luna plus. I'm surprised we haven't seen more Luna pluses yet. Usually they're pretty rampant. Time to get my health back. I broke the game. I kid you not. When I did this before, when I beat Lunatic Plus Classic before, this time I'm probably gonna go around recruiting everybody and making some builds and stuff. But when I did this before, I literally made this build and got through the entire game, including the final boss. The final boss was actually kind of difficult to beat with this, like without the weapon effectiveness of things like Falchion, but it was doable. It was doable with like whittling away his health bit by bit. So, yeah, when it came to me beating Lunatic Plus Classic before, I literally just made this build and soloed the entire game with my unit comp together. That's it. So, I mean, Lunatic Plus Classic is basically beat right now. But yeah, local man who plays his god slaughters entire Plasian populace, says Flavia or like Plavia. Oh man. So, I mean, even with this build out this, considering. This is what had me beat the entire game with my unit in Krom alone. We've basically beaten the game on the spot right now. Oh, maybe I can have that guy loot the chest and then I'll go after him. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, cool. I'll go after him now. Oh, dang it, they're all converging on me. I'm gonna have to unequip my tome if I want to keep spamming dancing over there. Here's the thing. So, yeah, I mean... When we beat Chapter 4, that was the big milestone for, like, we now have infinite gold and experience. That's because it. now we can grind. And now this is the milestone where I have the build that's literally capable of sweeping the entire rest of the game if I so deem it. So, basically, this is the milestone where we've truly won, essentially. Like, my stats aren't completely maxed, but if I just use one more second seal, I'd get my stats maxed. And be able to the entire game. Like, this is a weapon that can sweep the entire rest of the game, even on Lunatic Plus Classic difficulty. So, uh... Oh yeah, he has a 4% chance to hit, that's rare. My, oh my. Yeah, I'm gonna have to un- Oh look, another Luna Plus! Stop attacking time, I can't help it! Look, I didn't do it there. I didn't attack yes. time that time. My oh my. Alright, let's see here. Let's stay just out of that one dude's range so we take out the other two, and then I'm gonna have to unequip my toe. So I keep dancing here. Is the case. I'm surprised no reinforcements appeared at the top left. I could have sworn some usually do. Maybe it's only a few range units over there. Maybe. I don't know. Here's how it's done. Goodbye. Goodbye, my guy. <sighs> do I, am I really saying to? I swear I'm saying to. Well, here's Ignis. Please crit. the overkill from the crit. I'm sad. Well, I literally just swept the entire Plagian army except for this one mage who's left. That's it. There. Now I can't fight back. Relationship approved, yada yada, even though there are RAS support. Well, I'm gonna do this for a while. This is what we do. No, I swear that's not what I'm saying here. Why does it show hearts above them when they do this? Are they not gaining affinity here? Okay, they are. They are. Oh, I still have the combat animations on. It's zero percent chance to hit for zero damage. What skills does he have? He has counter. <laughs> he has Aegis plus. Not like I can save him from anything. Unlike that. 
How sweet, let's get their affinity for each other up. Oh, I should have brought a healer to heal Olivia whenever she gets a HP level up. Missed opportunity. Could have gotten a lot of experience on like Mirabelle or something. This is what could have happened. Okay, I think these are the only two chests here. Fairly certain, so let's just go ahead and yoink this. Now, we chill here. Now we do as I always do whenever I reach this chapter in Fire Emblem Awakening. We do this for like 5,000 years. So, uh, how was everybody's day today? You know, anybody have anything cool going on? We're gonna be here for a little while. Just a little while, don't mind me. Because this is like the best way to get experience for Olivia. As well, in addition to grinding affinity. Like, I guess I could potentially cheese over a certain enemy or leave like one healer standing or something like that while I'm DLC missions, but uh. Mm. Turn up the speed 150%. Because I should be able to still not go too far when it comes to my actions here. Are the tired and you intend to take a super nap after this stream? So am I. Whoops. Increase in speed. It's messing me up here. I remember grinding Olivia here like this late at night. Playing Fire Emblem Awakening. Fond memories. Fond memories indeed. Like, look how fast we can get level ups on her. Especially with this increase in emulator speed. That certainly helps it. Look at this. Easy peasy. How many turns do you do, tend to do this for? I don't know. Whenever I reach this point in Fire Emblem Awakening, I usually do it for a few hundred. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do it here. But, uh, we'll see. I usually do this for a while, but I feel like for the sake of the stream, maybe I shouldn't do it for that long. Okay, literally every time I get to this point, I stop when I get Olivia to level 30. I kid you not. So, uh, maybe I shouldn't do that all the way this time, since I could probably just do that with a DLC mission with leaving a healer last standing anyway. But, every, well not every previous playthrough I've done of Awakening, since I, it wasn't exactly like my first playthrough was trying to do stuff like this. But pretty much every subsequent playthrough to be trying to do stuff like this. In fact, I'm pretty sure even on my first playthrough I did max out Olivia like this, it just wasn't on Chrom in this chapter to try to get them to pair up. I don't think. There's like some later chapter. I think it's the one where you get Henry that I did it on. Where I just sat there like grinding forever. <laughs> I remember her health got so much higher. And then what she has since gaining an HP with a level up does not heal you for that one HP. But I could also do this faster than I used to be able to because, you know, I'm running an emulator at 150% emulation speed right now. That's the thing. So I'm able to do it faster than ever before. Unprecedented speeds here. Let's just make her fight Edward a thousand, or I don't know why I said a thousand, but that crazy number of times. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Would be back. This is like the fastest way that you can level up. Is the thing. Make her nice and strong. It also makes it easier to grind for other skills on her later, like Gale Force. Makes things nice and handy. Ooh, you up? Jeez, I've got a rhythm now. Dang. I've got mostly a rhythm. Dang. Right as I say that, I start messing it up. Uh, boobie bop. Look at this rhythm I got going. First speedrun strats here. Like, we're already at level 8. Easy peasy. Like, I see you from Radiant Dawn who's weak and it makes him easy to grind on. Huh. Never tried him before. Never tried that one. Wait. I know what I can do. Wait a second. This was a complete missed opportunity. Paragon. Done. Double experience. Maybe I will max her out. We have Paragon now. Oh my goodness, look at that. I can't believe I forgot about that. Whoops, dang. I can't believe I forgot about that. Let's max out Olivia. <laughs> Let's do it. Look at that, it's so fast now with Paragon. 
My oh my. Yeah, I should have brought a healer along. Whoops. Yeah, she gets like 30 experience now. Easy peasy. Rebop. Look at that. It just takes a few dances and she levels up now. Look at that. Fastest ever Olivia leveling up in the history of Fire Emblem Awakening right here, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Gotta go catch up with your Twitter. probably still be at this by the time you're finished. Alrighty. Dang it. Get pairing up by accident because additional emulation speed here. I wouldn't be surprised if nobody else who's ever played this game has leveled up Olivia this fast. Setting world records here. Dang it. Bringing speed running, Olivia level ups. Got my rhythm going, and it's really starting to hurt my arms actually. Dang it. My muscles are starting to ache a little bit, not gonna lie. But I'm committed now. Now I'm committed. It's a really good thing that I remembered Paragon. Thank goodness for that. If only I'd started earlier. Thank you. If only I had given her Paragon earlier. It should be a much better situation then. I swear, if Chrom and Olivia don't pair up after this, I'd be so mad. I'm always so afraid of that. I think at this point, it'd be basically impossible for them to not pair up, but I'm always so afraid of that whenever I do this. I'm always so afraid that by some weird twist of fate, Chrom's gonna choose someone else. <laughs> there we go, level 14. Is it busy? <laughs> Don't worry about it. 18 of 26 health now. My oh my. Just keep on giving promise turns back. Dang. Yeah, that mage down there literally can't damage my unit at all. Got special dance, nice, nice. Handy skill to have. Oh, now it makes a different sound slightly. Special dance. Slightly different sound than I made before. I never noticed that before playing this game. Level up. <laughs> nice, nice. Doobie bop. End the turn. My, oh my. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this, but at the same time, I'm so used to doing this every time I reach this chapter whenever I'm playing this game now. It's a thing. Level 17. <laughs> We're getting up there. Dang. You're fast. Way too fast. You got I don't really have a whole lot to say when I'm just doing this over and over again. But I try to keep saying things because that's a job of a content creator, you know? <laughs> Streamer slash content creator. Bada bing bada boom. I'm trying to keep saying things here. Even though, it's literally just me mindlessly doing this. And over, and over, and over again. If you need something more entertaining to watch, just go look at the bottom screen for the doggo there. The bottom camera. It's probably way more entertaining than what I'm currently doing. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. Up luck. Yeah, Olivia's gonna be a decent unit by the end of this. Decent by Lunatic Plus Classic standards, but hopefully she won't be one-shotable. <laughs> That's what that means. Be off. Oh, the freaking mage ran out of tome uses! That's hilarious! You can't even fight anymore. That's how long I've taken. That's hilarious. That's the first time I've done that in Fire Emblem Awakening. Because previous times I've done this, I just didn't bait out certain enemies. I think that's the first time I've done it in Awakening. I've done it in three houses a whole bunch now. When I make my class maxi machines against archers. I think that's the first time I've done it in Awakening here. Okay, just ten more levels to go. Easy peasy. Nine more levels to go. Look at this. All right, 18 over 30 HP. From all these level ups. Yeah, this speeds things up now that that mage is out of tome uses. Oops. Thank goodness I gave Olivia Paragon. Thank goodness for that. Alright, eight more to go. <laughs> There's eight more now. 
speed running this crap. I <laughs> caught up on your Twitter. And we're still going, we're at level 22 now. Look how fast it's going. The mage down there ran out of uses on his tome, so... Here we are. You were right. Yeah. What turn are we at now, I wonder? I wonder what turn this has reached. 106. 107 now. Okay, so maybe I lied by a few hundred. I guess the, what I really meant was a couple hundred. Was the real answer. Guess I misremembered. Here we go! <laughs> Look how fast this is. We only have six more to go. <laughs> but yeah, it's no biggie. It wasn't a few hundred after all. It's no biggie. Just a couple hundred turns. Man, I would not be able to do this in Fire Emblem Three Houses with its silly turn limit of 100 turns. Watching the trailers from the Game Awards? Have you seen the one for Bravely Default 2? Because I'm hyped about that game. Whoops. I don't think the trailer was all that well done. The trailer could have made it look more really cool. Or made it, could have made it more hyped up. The trailer was kinda... Eh, that's a trailer, I guess. But I'm hyped about the game. <laughs> As lame as the trailer was, this is a game that I've been waiting for for a while, and I very much look forward to playing that. It might be early? What, you think it might be early? Like, dang it! Like, early release? Probably get more soon, like into 2020? You're thinking? Well, hopefully I can beat Bravely second before then. Oh, you're saying it might be early, might get some more in the development cycle. Like, oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, that could also be the case. But I mean... It wasn't a trailer that got me hyped up about it. I mean, I'm hyped up about it as is, but... <laughs> I'm hyped up by nature of what it is. I'm gonna totally be playing it, but the trailer didn't exactly get me super engaged. It wasn't super epic. Like, out of all the trailers that I saw for the Game Awards, the one for that Final Fantasy VII remake is like, wow. That's how to do a trailer properly. And we actually studied trailer design in university in this game making class that I was in. We made a... We actually made a game trailer for each of our games ourselves, and then we had them presented to the person who made the E3 trailer for Dragon Age Inquisition. Like, the person who helped lead it. And he was the one who was critiquing all of our trailers. And then after that was done, we... Since we had some time at the end of class, we watched the... We watched the E3 trailer to Dragon Age Inquisition while the guy who basically was in charge of helping put most of it together was commentating on it and like the various thought processes behind him and the team on the various things that they did in the trailer and it's like wow there is so much more that goes on in trailers than I thought geez it was really cool but yeah I just want them to reveal the new jobs that'll be cool was excited for Final Fantasy VII R because you love the game Hellblade 2 and The Wolf Among Us 2. Oh, I didn't even realize that The Wolf Among Us 2 was announced. I never played The Wolf Among Us, but I watched a playthrough of it because I was intrigued by the story and I really liked it, actually. Even though I never played it. But yeah, it was... Ah, oh, it was near the end. Gotcha, gotcha. But also, when it comes to the Final Fantasy VII Remake, I don't have any console other than, like, Nintendo consoles and PC apart from an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 2. That's the only, like, non-Nintendo and non-PC consoles that I have. But there have been quite a few interesting games on the PS4 that have come out and, like, stuff that I know people would definitely like to see me stream at some point, like the Final Fantasy VII Remake or Persona 5, for example, that I definitely wouldn't mind getting to if I did pick up a PS4 at some point. So, honestly, I'm considering seeing if I can find, like, a cheap PS4 somewhere one day. Because there are a handful of games that I would totally play through on it. Not a lot, like, my main console is still the other things. Like, maybe I'd even see if I could find, like, a used PS4 or something. But there are a handful of games that I would definitely play through and stream. Like, there'd be Persona 5, Final Fantasy VII Remake. There'd be... Uh, I definitely want to play through Detroit Become Human because that game's really cool. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake only has exclusivity for a year. So are they bring? So what other consoles are they bringing it to then? Oh, and all three consoles? Fancy schmancy. But I assume there's not a whole lot of difference between PS4 and Xbox One as there is between Switch and the others. Like, there's still some version exclusives I know of, but... Freaking loose hairs. This is what happens when you're a long-haired guy. You shed all the time and then builds up in your jacket and it's annoying. <laughs> But yeah, you own those two consoles, your only Nintendo as your- wait, 
own exactly those two consoles as you're only on Nintendo consoles too. Is that supposed to say on Nintendo? Oh, what? Non-Nintendo, that makes more sense. So you also have a 360 and a PS2. This PS2 is so good. I love the PS2. One more. All right, here we go. Back to regular speed. Here we go. Dux 1X is better for third-party games, is it? I mean, I don't have either console, so I don't really know that much about this. It's not exactly anything I've looked into before, but that was the impression that I was under. Well, here we go, the final death. Look at how little HP Olivia has. She started out at, eight, at 18, which is her max. Now look at it. More powerful and games will look way better on it. I'm, I had no idea which one was more powerful there. Look, we literally doubled her health. Say this because we have both, then I believe it. But yeah, I am interested in the exclusives of PS4 though. Well, unless it's an exclusive, we buy it on Xbox. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, if I ever did pick up another console, I'd probably be like a cheap PS4 for some of the exclusives. That's what I do. Goodbye. Please, Chris. Yes. Ages plus can you cannot save you from this fate. Look, that was a short battle. It only took us 144 turns. Sire. Remaining Plagian forces are surrendering en masse. Good. Order our forces to cease fighting at once. Sire. Yes, sire. <sighs> then it's finished. Once their messenger delivers our terms, that's it. Put an end to this bloody business once and for all. <sighs> One. Somehow I don't feel like celebrating. Nah. Victory can be bitter as well as sweet, boy. It's good you learn that now. <coughs> Pregna Ferox lost many good soldiers today. We need to see to our dead. Then it's time to attend to the living and rebuild our army. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Flavia. The sacrifice will not be forgotten. At least we'll compensate your nation in whatever fashion. Please. Oh, in that case, how about you hand over the fire emblem and we'll call it even. <laughs> Just a little Froxy humor. Don't worry, I'm... Don't worry after our finances, Crom. Preparations will fall to Plegia. I've seen their treasury. They can well afford it. Oh, great. Yes, pity the man who stands between Flavia and a full coffin, boy. <laughs> okay. Have to remember that when you come to visit Yilstal. And so the war between Elise and Plegia has ended. Prince Krom and Harmonia work tirelessly to restore Elise's splendor. At least, it's so hard to say that sometimes. And I swear, if that person be beside Krom right now does not turn out to be a Olivia, I'll be so mad. This would be no easy task, for the war had taken a heavy toll on the Halidom. But with Feroxy Muscle and Plegian Gold, they brought peace back to the people. All it takes is muscle and gold. All the while, Prince forswore the title of Exalt out of respect to his fallen sister. Even so, his subjects grew eager for their new ruler to take a wife. And in his heart, Krom had always known who that woman would be, who has been dancing for him for the past 144 turns, hopefully. The royal wedding was a joyous occasion, attended by thousands from near and far. Finally, it seemed that the last lingering wounds of the Elisa's history had healed. But then, two years later... Do I just want to save it here and then do that? Wait, what if I don't want to save? What if it's not Olivia then? Just in case. I mean, it almost certainly has to be. But what if I saved and then we did the next story stuff next time? That's what we did. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to grind. Until then. So I guess I probably should do it now. I wouldn't be able to get more limit breakers. Guess we're going to do the opening now. In that case, after all. I'm saving this slot just in case it's not Olivia, but there's no way that that's the case, but I'm crazy, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs>